Hello Capricorn love, welcome to Soul Sparks Tarot and your love reading for the week of January 18 to 24 or whenever you view this video, that's when you're meant to hear it. Feel free to flip the energies as you see fit and remember that this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you. If this isn't your story, do check my readings for your moon, rising and Venus signs as well or feel free to book a personal reading at the email address in the description box below. Let's now close our eyes for a moment to calm our minds, raise our vibe, and be open to what is. Now take a deep breath, and let's begin. We've got the Eight of Pentacles driving your reading, and there are some things in your relationship i feel that have become repetitive and you don't know how much longer you can stand it you may have been putting in the effort to work on your relationship but it seems it's still not enough some of you could be focusing on your job or the work that you do in order to deal or to not deal with what's going on in your emotional life this is very specific but i feel that some of you may have a passion for writing or you may have a creative side where you work with crystals or beads perhaps you like to make necklaces or bracelets using these all right now what is the general energy of your love life we've got the three of pentacles the four of cups and the emperor in reverse I feel you're feeling tired about having to work on your relationship. It's like you know you need to work through your issues together, but you're feeling detached here. And you may be feeling very stubborn about it too. You're losing the motivation because things have gotten messy between you or because you may be dealing with someone who has a constant need to be right or a constant need to dominate or control the relationship and you don't want to deal with it anymore some of you could be dealing with an aries we also have taurus aquarius cancer virgo and pisces in your spread you or your person may have these signs in your charts all right now how does your person feel about you we got the knight of cups the high priestess and the star i feel you may be wishing or wanting more out of this relationship that your person is not really addressing they may be trying to evade the real issues by making all these romantic gestures wishing it would be enough but i feel that they can't get through to you there's something here that you wish they would do but instead they're putting the effort in all the wrong places is what i'm getting you may want a deeper connection with them but they're more concerned with fun and romance or you may be wanting them to be more romantic but you're getting the opposite You may be questioning how serious they are about you or how deep their love is. You may not be feeling receptive or responsive to your person right now or vice versa. Now how do you feel about your person who got the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Hanged Man? You could be dealing with someone who you feel doesn't appreciate your efforts enough and this has made you reflect on whether or not this relationship can truly meet your emotional needs. Sometimes you just want to go for what makes you happy, I feel, and do what you want with determination and confidence. But you may be feeling as though your person doesn't believe in your abilities enough. And what I'm getting is the trouble is you're allowing their opinion to stop you from moving forward. 
You may be wanting to run from or leave this connection, but at the same time, there's a part of you that wants to give it another chance or wants to just surrender to the way things are. There's a sacrifice here that needs to be made. And I'm getting that you could be feeling stagnant. And I feel you need to believe in yourself more. Or to invest in yourself. Alright, now, what do you need to know about this connection? We got the Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Hermit. I feel you're trying to figure out whether it's right for you to leave this connection and go for what truly makes you happy i feel you're going within for answers right now you have so many questions and there is a need for clarity again i'm getting a sense of distance i'm feeling that you're feeling detached from your person you're needing space from this connection, a time out or time apart. There's a need here to go after what, what really is your heart's desire. That's what I'm getting. All right, now what is the outcome for you? We got the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Things have come full circle, is what I'm hearing. This is about learning and seeking. And I feel that you will have the clarity to cut through obstacles and discard the things that are not working in your life or things that are not aligned with the direction you want to go. Again, this is very specific, but for some of you, I feel that there is a financial opportunity here and you may need to start small, but this will be good for you and you need to remove all self-doubt. You could also be leaving your person behind and focusing on yourself. It could be that things have been going in a downward spiral and you just want to make a new life for yourself. You just want to focus on your productivity and abundance because you know that even if your person doesn't believe in you, you do. Keep doing inner work because all your hard work will pay off. All right, now it's time for some oracle cards for further guidance for you spiritual messages do you have for my dear care thank you when i think i've surrendered i surrender more i recognize that i have chosen fear and i choose again i choose love all right thank you spirit one more please one more for me to Capricorn. Thank you. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Alright, thank you, Spirit. And this is what I have for you this week, my dear Capricorn. Thank you so, so much for joining me here today and for being part of my channel. I send you love, light, hope, healing, and many blessings. Raise the vibe and sparkle on.